This Chinese executive is going viral right now after being seen with his mistress out in China and the internet is weighing in. What is going on? Yeah, we got to talk about it. The uh, insider headline reads, a top executive was fired after being caught having an affair with Chi on China's version of TikTok. Now the $85 dress his mistress wore in the video is selling out. Is this news? Joining us today uh, to discuss is comedian Alvin Kwai. What's up, everybody? I, th I think it's great. I love the fact that this frail Asian dude is smashing this hot chick. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Best news I've heard all day. Yeah. I mean, this is the bullet points. A top business executive was sacked in China after a video of him with his mistress went viral. Chinese users rushed to bu buy over 4,000 pieces of the pink dress that the mistress wore. It is really ridiculous and ironic. One Chinese female user said on the mistress's newfound fame. Andrew, why is this going viral both in the East and in the West? Uh, yeah, let's uh, talk about it, everybody. We're going to get into the comments section. And also just like this is more on the silly side between the silly and serious stuff that we talk about. So please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Um, Mr. Who, he was an exec at a state-owned enterprise. Yeah. Some boring stuff, but he's very rich. And then Miss Tung is uh, the hot mistress. Yeah, I mean, what a way to lose your job is reveal your workplace relationship, you know, on Douyin. And on you know Douyin what? and Tai Kuli. This is like one, so this street that they're on is considered a fashion street. There's like three fashion streets in China where there's a bunch of photographers and they do they do all those cool slow motion Douyin TikTok videos where it's like, dum, 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 sh, dum, and then it's like all of them, like, you know, all these models. <laughs> right, if you guys are familiar with the Douyin yeah. style, um, uh, it's very much a, a trope. Yeah, but uh, I, I would say, man, he, he looked happy. I mean, I don't think it's good for his marriage, obviously not good for his career, but he, he looked like he was in Made international news. I mean, he's more famous now, let's be honest, than he ever was going to be even as a billionaire. Guys, is it just as simple as this is making headlines because it's dweeby Asian guy with hot Asian woman and they both look happy. This is news. <laughs> news. Chinese guy living his life. Well, let's get in the comments section. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Follow Alvin Kwai on uh, social media. The first comment was revenge of the nerds. Look at him and then look at her. Chinese dudes in America could never get this situation. <laughs> Who commented that? I want to fight that guy. Is this true? Is it not? I mean, let's be honest. It's very stark. Like, he looks like Bill Gates, and she almost looks like uh, maybe a little thicker version of almost like a Chinese Amber Heard. Ooh, Fine. Wow, yeah. you're giving her a lot of but credit. But he's rich, though. So I feel like a rich guy anywhere could, 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 get, could get tail. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, guys, is it important to note that this girl is not just a mistress? She actually used to work at the same company in his department. Obviously, that's why he should get fired. And Americans, even American companies, obviously fire people for inappropriate workplace relationships. Right, Alvin? I mean, you worked at McKinsey, which is a high-end consulting firm, and this is how things go, right? Yeah, definitely. And I got, I definitely didn't get fired for... Uh, That'd be a cool reason to get fired, you know, for like <laughs> McKinsey. Bagging everyone else. Yeah, no, Yo, I was fired you wish I was you dumb. got fired I for wish, a dude. sexy, steamy nah. workplace yeah. mistress. But it was because I was dumb, unfortunately. So, um, somebody said if you look into the story, he mostly got fired because she flaunted three million dollars in USD worth of gifts a few months prior on Chinese uh, social media. Clearly, that's why she loves that dude and wants to be holding his hand. He was giving her millions. Obviously, it was the millions out of his personal fortune or embezzled from the state-owned enterprise. That's why he's got to get sacked. If you look into the Chinese social media, I guess there's a lot more. You know. Oh my gosh! I mean, if if he used company funds, obviously he's got to go to jail because I know China's trying to crack down on corruption. But whether it is from his personal collection or not, like he's he's out. Yeah, this yeah. is a bad look, right? Because you just don't want your senior management. Somebody said, uh, I have been misled about what's going on in China by the Western media. I thought that senior management at state-owned enterprises could do whatever they want, but I, apparently they are getting held accountable. This is contrary to what I have been told. <laughs> yeah, you can't just do any. I mean, if anything, I feel like they're more strict in China. You know? Yeah, right. Because they're the, you represent everything, right? Yeah, and it's also like that that Confucian value of like family is very important. Where like mm -hmm. in America, I feel like with the concept of family is almost dead. Yeah, you know, get divorced five times, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Also in China, there is a lot of anti-corruption because they understand that there is a huge disparity between the large amount of poor people and rich people. So they're very conscious about how things are viewed, especially on social media. I'm not 
not saying no. that there's not other executives doing this, but they weren't careless enough to get caught. And so that's why China and these companies, whether it's the government or, you know, these companies, they're just like, dude, you are making China look bad by being on Douyin, yeah. on Tai Ku yeah. Lee Street. Yeah. Of all the streets, Bro, but Mr. Who, you Hu. cannot do this. That is how dumb men are, though, because we're always trying to flaunt, like, at any time, like, you get some, like, like a good-looking gal. Right, you're just trying you're to flex like, so yeah. bad. Yeah, 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 this guy was like, I'll flex. It's worth my <laughs> losing my job and breaking Eli, down Eli, man, who knows? Maybe he wanted to get caught. I don't know. Somebody said, uh, I'm sure this guy will get another high-paying job somewhere, and the woman will continue being a mistress. I don't think any lessons are learned in society here but somebody said no listen guys china is not like the u.s uh you know they have a reputation to uphold this person is going to get crushed and lose all their money and someone says you know right now in chinese society many chinese girls want to be the mistress of somebody rich because those are just the options on the table <laughs> um i will say this i do think they have a different society over there i do think they're worried about a proletariat revolution to your point and i do think being a mistress to a company exec is more appealing uh over there than here because we got more like celebs and stuff and like you know what i mean rich crypto guys or athletes or whatever you know actors to be a part of somebody said china is just like 1960s u.s getting with jfk richard nixon ronald reagan yeah it's not like this in america anymore dude this is happening in america for sure of course it is yeah well, except i will say this i do think american guys are a little bit more savvy like they're not walking out <laughs> on the most populated photography street in China. <laughs> Is Bezos That's not true. doing this? That's Bill true. Gates ain't doing this? I don't know. But I do think that being a mistress, I mean, being a mistress is kind of the ideal situation. Who wants to be a wife? That's like, they're like, they have like the hard part of the relationship. Being a mistress, you, the just kids. Yeah, you just bang and get gifts. You know? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Somebody said that Alvin this- Alvin would like to be a mistress. I would to love somebody. to be like a sugar, like a, have a sugar mama. You know, no, a lot, let's just say that the, the tables were flipped. So many dudes would do it for a living. You cannot believe. Um, do you think it's true? Somebody said, look at this girl's smugness and the way she's walking. She clearly thinks that she's the main character and Marilyn Monroe. Well, I'm not going to lie. It is kind of wild that, you know, the way social media is. And I think this is why China is concerned about social media is because her dress sold out in minutes after this was published and went viral. Right. Her dress is on Taobao. So it's kind of like you're buying the mistress's dress. I'm not saying it's not a nice dress, but I guess there is like an attitude that China's like, oh man, like all the young women, they want to dress like mistresses. Right. This is a problem. Some girl said, yeah, but you have to remember the dress is innocent. The girl is the... <laughs> Somebody said, this proves the Chinese people are just as shallow and easily influenced as Americans. Welcome to social media. We have been misled to believe all they were watching was just educational stuff on social medias. No, no, no. There's a lot of stupid videos out there on Douyin too. But yeah, I, I think like there's so many Chinese people, man. There's a lot more Chinese people that are almost acting like Americans than you think. I'm not saying that's mm. most of China, but there, there's a lot. I think that the pie distribution ratios of China are absolutely different, but the pie slices in terms of like these people are hedonistic, these people are indulgent, these people are wholesome, uh, those slices still all exist in those populations. The distribution might be different and people's exposure to those populations might be different, but basically the same types of people exist in every large society. Yeah, dude. Definitely. But I'm saying that obviously Americans, they're thinking like the Chinese pie is all just like not diverse. I mean, what he's doing is not Asian culture or white culture it's just general old rich guy it's culture. male behavior <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just male behavior i think it's interesting that he did look like bill gates though he looked exactly like bill the girl gates. had a bigger butt than he, he looked like an even frailer version of bill gates which i didn't know was possible like if bill gates was like sick <laughs> <laughs> um i think it's just cool to see more humanizing news to come out of china to be honest you know you, you only see ultra negative stuff this is obviously it's like a it's just more like a tabloid style piece of news so i'm like cool like shoot balance it out i don't know yeah i mean i don't know what uh obviously we're not digging too much into his personal life because like i don't know the relationship between him and his wife if his wife knew she was the mistress and then now she's like you're just embarrassing our family yeah Yo, by bet. being out there maybe they had this setup i don't know dude i bet his wife looks like a sea monster there's <laughs> oh. no way she's a good looking guy. she probably is like ah. But she got him there. She let him rise that corporate ladder. She gave him the stability, and he pulled a Bezos. He pulled a Gates. Yeah. Hopefully, Zux doesn't do the same thing, especially because he's married to a you know stand-up Asian woman. <laughs> um, 
I don't think Zuck's will, to be honest. Uh, but you know, interestingly enough, Andrew, the first time I heard a Taiku Lee was well, one time we went to Chandu, but Psy P from Higher Brothers as a rhyme, where he's like, from Shanghai to Taiku Lee. It's <laughs> just talking about, you know, you can't buy stuff in Taiku Lee, all right? My Bootsy. Yeah, you um, get photographed and revealed. Alvin, for, what's your overall takeaway on this uh, incident, man? I love it, dude. Good for this guy, man. Keep doing it. Keep getting more mistresses and losing money. It's worth it. Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it kind of cool to see a nerdy Chinese guy winning, though? At least in terms of, I'm not saying he winning by cheating on his wife or whatever. I'm just saying he was with a baddie. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. You know, I, 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 have, a, <laughs> I have a post of this guy in my room. Yeah. How many times have you seen, like, maybe you think that the nerdy guy was a white guy? And then the Yo, I, I, I don't know, Alvin. Maybe you, uh, you could dress like him. They had matching outfits on. I, th I think you could get that pink polo. <laughs> <laughs> wear that on Alvin, stage. Wear it. Alvin, wear it. Hey, yo, listen, Hollywood. Alvin is great at playing the leader of a state-owned enterprise. It's something. <laughs> uh, Andrew, any final takeaways on this uh, uh, Hu and Dong saga on Douyin? Listen, Dou Ying man, uh, they went out with matching outfits. They wanted <laughs> to be seen. I don't know what he had planned or if he knew that this was going to happen. But he looked happy, though. But he looked happy and... If he's going to deal with the family issues with him and his wife, whatever, man. Do but you think he might be glad that this whole thing blew up? He's like, yeah, I always wanted to leave with millions, but I didn't know how to go out with a bang. I felt like this was quite the, the, quite the you, end. You know, a lot of Jesus. people, they uh, the one thing that they don't have in their life is clout and Maybe he was chasing the clout. But anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Is this even news? Are we just, is this just kind of like a Chinese tabloid story? What can we learn from it? Obviously, yeah, don't cheat on your wife and don't make it all super public <laughs> and then lose all your money. Was he but the dorkiest dude to be holding in, in any of those? Dude, this is definitely a meme. This is like a anime meme like this anyway it looks guys. like a guy who invented an algorithm for instagram and the girl who's got the most likes on instagram no it looks like he he's That's like good. the nerd who programmed this machine that creates the perfect woman oh and what then was she that popped one? out of the machine and uh, was like hello mr who my <laughs> name is miss dong and then he's like uh you're real <laughs> no there was a show in the 90s where people could input photos into a printer and it would like give you a, a, a it's robot. definitely a movie i remember seeing that anyways guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about all this we are the hot pop boys and until next time we out Peace. follow alvin Kwai on instagram yes